So come, come here, Kim. Come oh, here. Let me show you. So in. we've rigged two mics here. One here, we thought we'd try a 6060 under the buttonhole here, and it's actually facing downwards because we were getting a bit of popping noise coming from breath coming straight down. And underneath this, we've taken the mic and we've stuck it down with some black Ursa tape, done a little knot under there, and just stuck that all straight down. If I unpeel that, I'll show you. So there's a little knot there, stuck it all down. We took, we put this through, did up the button so it just faces down, and that's quite a nice rig. And then up here, we're using a vampire clip, like that, a vampire clip, and then uh, a bit of strain resistance here. And we're just sort of listening to the, distance, uh, the difference between a mic which is quite high, which is a 4060, and a mic which is you know, a fair bit lower, and a different kind of mic to hear whether or not it sounds more open. Shall we have another quick listen? Yeah, so... Um here I am talking about this wonderful new product. Uh, it's it's going to be the, the next biggest thing. Uh, we haven't quite figured out what it is yet, but we already have funding, and that's all that matters. So we're just going to burn a whole bunch in R&D, and it's going to be revolutionary. Everyone's going to have it in their homes. It's going to be awesome. OK, so who can guess which was which? We heard both no, mics. That sounded so plasticky. <laughs> <laughs> if that's a word, it just didn't sound natural. Yeah, because the last because one it's so was much the closer. closer. So much closer. Yeah, and under the chin. Yeah. Um, and it's a different microphone. Let's not forget. <laughs> yeah. The microphone itself is going to sound a little different, but uh, that would have nothing to do with the amount of room ambience, which makes it more natural sounding. Mm. I think I do feel like the 660 is quite close to the 4060. It just it's just positionally. Yeah, it's true. I think positionally that makes more of the difference. That's the biggest difference. Yeah. yeah. The, the B6, the super tiny one, first came out. Um, I had it coming through the a sweater, just a hole in the sweater, it blended in perfectly well. So I took it over to the, the uh, camera operator and I said, can you see this microphone, is this hidden well enough? And he says, um, no, I can see it, so we'll have to change that. I said, okay. So I took the actor back to the room, brought him back out, didn't change a thing. I said, okay, how is it now? He goes, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Shall we try a countryman and see how a countryman sounds in yes. the button? The, the B6? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just getting curious now. So, in the spirit of messing around at a workshop, we're going to rig a countryman B6, the tiniest mic going, in the same buttonhole as the 6060, and just see eh, whether it's how it, how, how it compares. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, where I did this little knot to reduce cable noise. And I, it's just something I do. It's, I think it works. It's an easy way of reducing the noise. Just drop that down. Plug that into number three. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's Good. perfect. So many wires here. <clears throat> OK. There we go. So down yeah. there, using that. Sorry, it's going to be really hard to see on camera. Going to take that, stick that down above it. Let's just pull the rest of that down. Are they both on the same side? They're both, no, one's on the opposite side. So, so yeah, 60, 50, 60, 60. Okay, let's have a listen. All right, do you want this just standing here first or do you want me walking let's, around? Let's start walking around. Okay, yeah. Um, so, here at True Audio, uh, we have all sorts of things. We have these tubes right here, um, which are great for really small boom poles and um, you know, if you, if you have one of those little snake things that you pop out of a, a can, um, those will probably protect those for air travel. I don't right know why you're going right with right those. Now. So continue now it's just six. talking, walking around. Um, here we've got some, uh, some rip ties. These are tape holders. They hold your tape. Um, it's kind of a novel concept, but we're really thinking we can expand it into holding all sorts of things. So over here, we've got the tie tie. Uh, they hold all of your ties together. Um, we're kind of working on the name. We don't know if okay. we'll go with tie squares. I mean, they're both damn sensitive, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. But still, yeah. that's not bad. OK. Uh, all right. Useful? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So the button, the button wins so far. Oh, uh, it does, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the button like wins. One of those, the black shirt helps mm -hmm. the microphone to be hidden. Yeah, it does. Um, and I think, I, I never thought about going down yeah. before. That's, that's, that makes it less visible. 
Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So shall we shall we carry on just going through some of the stuff on on this table quickly, so we know what we've got to play with? Um, obviously.